Good evening. It was a lazy Sunday morning. It's beautiful outside, not a cloud in the sky, a little breeze in the air. And I was at a friend's house who happens to live on the river. And we decided what a beautiful day to go out on the pontoon boat. The pontoon boat hadn't been running a long time, so he went down there and he started the engine. Engine wouldn't start. It's a lot of smoke. It was huffing and puffing. A few times, he tried to get it cranked up. Finally, he got the engine cracked up after a while. I was all excited. I ran and got my bottles of water. I got the sunscreen. And I made sure we had some paddles to take on the boat. As an experienced boater, one never knows what can happen. So we took off from the dock behind his house and went down the canal approaching the St. John's River. It was Sunday, and the river is usually very busy on Sunday, and he decided, well, let's just take this tributary along the river. Beautiful. It was hot. We go down this tributary, and there was nobody on it. Not a soul. Nature was abound. Flowers. I could hear a, a bird singing. And we're driving happily down the, the river with a pontoon boat, and we see some flowers in the distance. Wildflowers, beautiful blue, purple, pink. So we approach the river bank to take a closer look at the flowers. The engine started sputtering. <laughs> <laughs> and he backs up the engine. And, and the engine starts to kind of quit again. He says, no problems, no trouble. We just got a little mud in the engine. As you may or may not know, all boat engines, all engines for that matter, require cooling. With a boat, there is a device at the bottom of the engine that allows the water to come through and cool off the engine. Well, we had approached the river bank and the mud had gotten in there, so it, it kind of started stalling. No problems, we continued down this river with not a soul on it, enjoying nature. And the engine was purring all along, doing just fine. And we're traveling, and as we travel, I see at a distance another boat docked in the bushes, very conspicuously tied up to a tree. And as we approach the boat, I see a suspicious kind of character. He's all in camouflage. The boat is painted all in camouflage. And there are cages, empty cages on the boat, and he's sitting on the boat, smoking his cigar, and he waves, and we wave, and we go by, happily and merrily along the way. Not soon afterwards, the captain decides it's time to turn around and go back. We had by then traveled about two, three miles from the dock. Well, we turn the boat around, and all of a sudden, <laughs> beep! There we were, nobody around, no engine. He tried to crank up that engine. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> All of a sudden, I realized we were out there in the middle of nowhere with a boat with not a working engine. So fortunately, on the way back, we were going with a current and we started <laughs> drifting. And we went past this suspicious character and all of a sudden, hey, y'all, y'all out there, you need some help? Sounds like your engine just quit. Sounds like you might be having an overheating problem. Oh, no problems at all. We're fine. We'll make it. We're fine. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, beep. <laughs> y'all, I know what y'all need. You just need this little wire right here to just put through the engine to you probably got some mud because it's pretty shallow here. So the captain decided, okay, well, you know, we might as well tie up next to him. 
So we, you know, kind of drifted along and tied up next to or besides this book. Well, I was wearing a bathing suit. And I started to feel a little nervous because there was nobody out there. So this gentleman came rushing over to our boat. He brought this wire that looked like a piece of hanger wire. And he comes over and he proceeds to, you know, pull up the engine and unclog the part of the engine that's all stuck with mud. And as he's unclogging it, he says, well, you know, y'all, you have to let the engine cool off. So while he was sitting on the boat, I decided to ask him, well, looks like you all are a hunter. He says, yes, ma'am, we're out here hunting. Well, what are you hunting for? We're hunting for hawk. I said, and, and, and how do you hunt for hawks? With dogs. We have dogs. I said, oh, you mean there's more than one of you? Oh, yes, ma'am. Of course, he didn't talk quite that nicely. He used some very profane language <laughs> and in, in, in the style of a lady. But anyhow, he continued to, I said, well, tell me about how do you hunt for hogs? Do you use weapons? He says, oh, no. He says, we have special dogs. And these dogs run after the hog, and they grab the hog with their teeth. They clench their teeth in them, and then the hunters come behind them, and they hog tie them. They tie the legs and they tie the, the feet. And then they drag them back. And I said, and then what do you do with it? Oh, well, then we eviscerate the hog. <laughs> well, we cut them open and we take all the entrails out. And, and then we, we take, cut off the head. And then we you know, get, get it ready to put back on the boat. So how many of you are there out there? Oh, I got my buddies and, out, and me out here. We're just out here having a good old time. Right about then, I started thinking. I don't know if you all saw the movie Deliverance, but <laughs> I started to feel like Deliverance was here. And right about then, wouldn't you know it, out of the corner of my eye, I see this hog come running by. And behind it, I could hear a rustling of footsteps in the bush. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. And I see this pack of dogs chasing the hog. And our gentleman helping us there, he jumps up and he goes, Pig Sue! Woo, woo, woo! Go dogs, go dogs! Run after get that pig! <laughs> and he jumps off our boat and he goes running after the dogs with a pack of the hogs. And the boat captain and I, and we're standing there and we're thinking, oh, okay, this is interesting. Next we hear more. And more woof, 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 and more hunters chasing after going, Pig Suey, Pig Suey, let's go get them doggies. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> well, right about then, we started to get a little worried, and we decided that although the engine wasn't running, it was time to cast off. We had the paddles. Luckily, the tide was in our favor, but we were so far away from home. So as I grabbed the paddle and I started rowing, I started thinking the hot sun was beaming down. It was so hot and needed some water to cool off. I started thinking about all the camp songs I ever knew. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Busted down on Aunt St. John, waiting for a ride, when I was feeling near as panicked as my pants. <laughs> and so, we sang every camp song and every song that driver knew as we were starting to head back. Luckily, we got rescued like a miracle by a boat of other sightseers that came by and were, was able to tow us back. But in the meantime, I realized that what started out to be a lazy Sunday morning without any troubles and just a spur of the moment to go out on that boat ride, it was a good thing we were going up the creek with a paddle. <laughs> Always be prepared. Bring your water, your paddle, and your sunscreen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.